If you are someone like me who is constantly running out of space on their laptop and you use your laptop for video editing, photo editing, playing games and saving big application, then in this video let me teach you how to make your own extremely fast external NVMe drive and this external drive is not only extremely fast to directly edit videos from it and play games but also very cheap compared to internal storage especially on your MacBox. Hi my name is Ayan and on this channel we talk about tech travel transform and today I'm gonna show you how to build your own external SSD. SSD. These really comes in handy especially in recent times where almost all the laptops are getting shipped with SSDs and as you all know internal SSDs can be really expensive especially if you are coming from an Apple ecosystem if you want to buy an additional terabyte or additional 500 GB you have to pay a lot of extra money which is not worth it so what I do is I use this external drive which is extremely fast and I can edit the videos right from this drive I can also play games I can also launch big application store right on this drive so let me show you how you can build it yourself and we will also compare speeds of internal drive compared to this external drive now to build this drive you need a couple of things and the very first thing is to get yourself an nvme drive now these comes in different storage options so usually 500 gb 1 tb 2 tb and 4 tb and since they are the fastest available external drive options so they can get pretty expensive compared to normal ssds but i have been using it for so many years and i'm editing videos directly from it without any lag so it's always worth the cost and over here i have with support PCIe Gen 4 and this is important because you can get with support PCIe Gen 3, PCIe Gen 3.1 so PCIe 4 is generally the one which is really fast and the form factor is M2 based. These all could sound jargons to you but let me break it down and make it a bit easier. PCIe is generally the protocol that this drive supports and PCIe 4 and 4.1 is usually the fastest. You can also get PCIe Gen 3 but it will not fast as PCIe Gen 4 of course and M2 is just the form factor of this drive which will help you buy the enclosure for this drive because this drive is m2 you cannot directly connect it to your laptop externally that's why we need this enclosure over here you can put the drive and you can connect it using this USB-C port which is supported by Thunderbolt so assembling it is fairly easy for the first step you just have to open the drive and this is uh, the bay where your uh, drive sits inside the enclosure and you just have to take your drive and put it inside this enclosure like this and then you can close this enclosure and now your drive should be ready to put into the computer using this Thunderbolt cable and this is important because this is not just a USB cable but this is a Thunderbolt supported USB-C cable which gives you the maximum speed possible from your USB-C port on your laptops. Now for the next step we have to connect it to the laptop and do the initial formatting. If you want to use this drive just on the Mac I highly recommend you format it in APFS format which is the Apple file system and this will give you the maximum speed possible but if you want to use this drive to also on different operating systems like Windows and Linux then you have to format this drive to a different format usually XFAT, NTFS or FAT32. Now once formatted you could see the drive mounted and over here we can check the size of this drive and everything looks good. Now let's also do a quick check of the speed and see how it compares to the speed of indoor drive and that is really close. Now also let me quickly show you how you can put your applications or game to directly be used from this drive. So you don't have to do anything on Mac, you just have to drag and drop to this drive and whenever you plug this drive you can double click to open it and use your application. Now that was all from this video, I wanted to show you how you can also make your own NVMe external drive. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any value from this video consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. But on that note I'm gonna see you in the next one.